Hey folks, Ryan here from 45 Drives making my tech tip debut. I'm here to talk about today one of our more niche products, the Destroyinator, and what makes it so unique when it comes to the hardware itself. The Destroyinator is our data destruction device. It is used mainly by our customers that are looking for disk sanitization and secure wipes of their products. My colleague Ashley has a great video that she put out going over all the use cases and the full solution that comes with the Destroyinator product. We'll put a link of that video in the description of this video and I recommend anyone who hasn't seen it to go back and watch. Aside from the green front plate, our Destroyinator looks very similar to our Storinator products, but if you were to look closer, there are some hardware changes that are unique to this product and I would like to point them out. Firstly, there are no springs in our product. This is because a lot of our Destroyinator customers will be looking to wipe a varying array of different types of mediums. That includes 2.5 inch laptop drives and SSDs. With the removal of the springs, we're able to easily place in drives like this solid state disk in one of our SATA slots without being impeded by a spring. Secondly, a big difference you'll notice between the Destroyinator and our Storinator product is the grid and the numbering on it to identify the slots. If you were to look in the first row of this 30, you would notice a standard 1-1 through 1-15 uh, numbering. But as you get to the back row, you'll notice these slots numbered MB-1 to MB-7. That is because these seven slots are not tied to any LSI controller card, but they're tied directly into the SATA ports right on the motherboard. This is to allow the opportunity to wipe SATA 1 drives and 2 and 3. The slots that are numbered 1-1 through 1-15, as well as 2-1 through 2-8 on this particular model, can handle the wiping of SATA 2, 3, and SAS drives. We added this feature in because a lot of feedback we got from our customers was the need to wipe older legacy SATA 1 hard drives. In any of our 30, 45, or 60 bay models, these slots will always be found in the very last row of the unit. In this newer generation model, we have seven slots, but some of you that may have our legacy products from before will recognize these slots as being labeled S1 through S-9. The reason why there was more slots on our previous generation models of this product was due to a different motherboard model having more onboard SATA slots for us to use. In our next generation of Destroyinator products that we are developing, we plan to implement NVMe support for U.3 and M.2 hard drives. Now for this video, I wanted to focus mainly on the hardware of the product, but I couldn't without telling you how it interacts with the Kill Disk software. Us here at 45 Drives have become known for our drive aliasing tools over the years that helps precisely identify hard drives to physical locations within our units. For our Destroyinator product, this is handled through the disk bay layout file found in Kill Disk. So let's have a look at that right now. So here we are at the desktop of one of our Destroyinator products with KillDisk already launched. And I just want to show you where you can access the disk bay layout file in KillDisk and how you can see and make changes to it if it is necessary. So inside of KillDisk, if we go under edit and edit disk bay layout, this will open up our disk bay layout file. As you can see, each of these ports, 1-1 through 1-15, all have different physical ports that lay out and map to slots inside of the system. So for slot 1-1, we see a controller ID of 17 and a physical port of 02. For 1-2, we see uh, the same controller ID, but physical port 03. This is very similar to our VDEV ID comp file that is found in our Houston products that applies the drive aliasing to our Zpool arrays. Now here in one of our Storinator products with our drive aliasing applied, this is all done through our vdev underscore id .conf file that you can find by going to our navigator page, going to Etsy, and scrolling to the very bottom and finding the file. In here you can notice that just like the kill disk bay layout file, you will have your PCI slots identified as well as the physical ports. And they all translate to 1-1, 1-2, 1-3, and so forth. Now, if you ever have any issues in the kill disk software with it drives not being recognized, but the operating system itself can't see them, typically the problem lies with this file. If that's the case, please reach out to us and our service team would be happy to help. So that's it for today's video. Please let us know in the comments any other topics you would like us to discuss around the Destroyinator product and you might just see my face again on your screen in the future. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.